uh, religious affair ministry. So uh, our minister of Islamic religious affair. So in adequate. And then the other things that the problems they are facing is the uh, sustainability. Whenever the political advocates uh, goes, and then uh, there goes also the 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 the, 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 the approach, the top down approach, the Islamic based development top down approach. So they they are they are they are suffering from two two uh, two uh, problems. Uh, in Brunei Darussalam, probably. The the uh, the structure of the city is quite different from Malaysia because Malaysia, uh, 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 there are a lot of politics and also politics in Malaysia as opposed to Brunei Darussalam, uh, which uh, the state is only controlled by monarchy by the Sultan, and then there is uh, not much politics in that. So we can see that Brunei Darussalam is much more stable as opposed to Malaysia. Uh, there is top down uh, approach. But then uh, for us, the normal people, we want to establish, we want to implement Islamic based development. Uh, we are not able to do it at the, uh, from the top, top down because you do not have the power. And therefore, you have already said that we can do that at the macro level, uh, which we call a bottom up approach. So definitely, we have to develop ourselves within ourselves first uh, by developing our Iman and Nafs, inshallah. And then later on, we develop our Islamic family, our Islamic neighborhood, our Islamic community. And uh, hopefully that uh, eventually it will go up to the state and later on to the universe. So it begins from below at the grassroots level uh, with the initiations, uh, with the initiative of the people themselves who wants to see, who wants to develop according to Islam. And uh, inshallah, even though we cannot go up to the state level, but at least uh, among our community, we have uh, a, a kind of state-based development. And actually, this has been proven by, for instance, a community in uh, in Thailand, for instance, in a Banu, Banua community. Yeah, they have developed uh, their village uh, according to Islam, stage by stage. And then Alhamdulillah now they are having uh, shares in hotels in Hanyai. They are having uh, a cooperative. They are having uh, zakat institutions. Uh, and in fact, they, 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 they are able to fulfill the needs of the poor, provide the dwellings or the, the houses for the poor. And uh, there are a lot of things that, that they have done. So actually at the macro level, it, is much more easier as opposed to the uh, at macro level and the state level. And also we can see in Indonesia, there are a lot of communities, NGOs here, yeah, uh, which try to establish their community according to Islamic uh, way of life. And we can see, for instance, the Rotawhid in Bandung. Uh, we can see there are a few um, uh, organizations or state communities uh, uh, initiated by Nandatul Ulama or Muhammadiyah and all uh, and other 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 organizations, so uh, they can strive, inshallah, slowly from below, and hopefully that one day uh, when the people are aware of Islam, then inshallah, um, Islam can be implemented. Islamic based development can be implemented at the, the the state level, inshallah. So that's how we can do it. And always remember, as I will say that whatever that we want to do, remember we have to do it within our horizon of power. So do not be too ambitious to want us to achieve or accomplish something that which is uh, with 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 out from outside uh, uh, our power. So uh, use our power within the horizon of power and try to to implement whatever that you want to implement from the Islamic perspective. Inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Prof, uh, for that answer. So let us start uh, small, start uh, somewhere, yeah, no matter what.